What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword. Let's see who Hop is talking to over here. Hop, what's up? Oh, we found him, there we go. There we go, thank you for helping out with my training team, y'all, but I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a Karkal hard at work. <laughs> we weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to Scarper and give a morale boost somewhere else. Or elsewhere, is what he said. But yeah, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for over a million views on the first episode. You guys left 22,000 likes, and the more likes that you guys leave on these videos, the better they do, so thank you so much. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore! That's Kabu, man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire-type gym leader. All right. Ah, you're the trainers endorsed by Leon, Hop, and Z-Dog, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you and gym, you gym challengers. I specialize in fire-type Pokemon, and the water-type Pokemon in Gallard Mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Is that so? Regardless, it's getting late. So go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Moto Stoke. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Karkle. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Gore! We're going to be f on fire tomorrow. <laughs> Literally, because they're the fire type. But yeah, we know. We know how it works. All right. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up, too. All right. So here we go. Off on our own. And uh, so now we're going to the, the we, we got to stop at the Badoo drop-in. So we will Badoo that as soon as we, <laughs> we can. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That car call from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know about Pokey, Pokey jobs by now, right? Uh, I do Pokey what? Looks like there's no helping it in that case. Settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down on his old no notebook. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Poke Jobs from the Rotomi at any Pokemon Center, so give it a look sometime. Now I'm cream crackered. <laughs> I'm for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. <laughs> Come tomorrow, that Fire Gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'll be coming for him. How can he be cream crackered? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Uh, so let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of things here. Holy cow. Do I want to even bother with these? Those are big, big old birds. Do I even care? Oh my god. What the heck is this guy? <laughs> what? A wild sock. <laughs> he's not even wearing socks and he's called sock. Doesn't make any sense. What is sock? Let's just fight him. Let's just find out. Let's do a flame charge. I could look him up. I know I could. But let's go ahead and uh, just punch him some. There you go. Uh, or not well, I didn't punch him, but I punch him with fire. <laughs> that counts, right? All right. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, fight. What am I going to do? That was just okay. Let's do a double kick. I don't even know what Sock is. Oh, should I, should I capture him? Maybe I should capture him. I've never seen him before. Let's see a double kick. I hope double kick doesn't kill him. Uh, it might, it might. That was a, well, that was a critical hit, so the next one may not be. All right, I think we can catch Sock now. Whatever the heck Sock is. Uh, let's. Can I just use a regular Pokeball, please? Like I don't, I don't know, I don't. Do I have? Any, I have seven left. Let's just use one. There we go. All right. Come on. Come on. Nice. All right. Oh, wow, S-Dog leveled up, P-Dog, and Shellos leveled up. Again, I don't think I'm going to stick with Shellos. I think I'm going to stick with Dreadnaw. So I might put Shellos away. But I don't know. Maybe I'll keep him around just for this fire gem. Uh, Sock, what is he? He's a fight. I knew it. I knew he was a fighting. He was dressed like a fighting type. Of course he's a fighting. All right. If you see a Sock training in the mountains and it's a single minus purest of strength, it's best to quietly pass by. Uh, no nickname, and you're just going to go to the box. Go to the box, the sock box. There we go. So, I, I don't even know like what this guy's even about. Uh, let's see what we got here. 
Uh, what do I want to do? Okay, he's, he's at the box, but I'm sorry, I'm looking. I'm reading through the comments you guys left before. Uh, I don't even know, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm, oh, darn it, I thought I could get by. All right, here's one of these guys. I don't even like Scraggies. <laughs> this is the truth. Let me just run away. I mean, maybe I don't know enough about him. But for now, I don't. I got away safely because that's good. I, okay, I'm going to get this ball over here. Here we go. What is inside? Pick it. Pick it up. Three great balls. Goodness gracious. Three great balls. Not of fire, but hey, you want to fight me? You want to battle me? Uh, young Pokemon trainer, won't you honor me with a battle? I will. I will. Don't you worry about it. I will. Um, let's see. Let's see. Madam Caroline, such a sweetie. I'm, I'm still trying to like look through the, the comments here. Someone says, Zack, save Toxel. It will evolve at level 30 and become a good electricity type, says Miriam. Um, let's see. Shellos, because it's water ground when it evolves. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Uh, as you keep Dreadnought and the Pony. Catch a deep lead because it'll be an OP Pokemon. I don't know, man. Let's just uh, let's just fight this thing. What is this? Uh, let's do a double kick on Yamper. I'm just trying to go through the 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 um the comments here, I'm trying to see like um yesterday. So the the reason yesterday that I didn't have a video. Oh great, here we go. Pikachu's here now. I didn't have a video. Uh, I, why, why, okay. You don't want me. You want, uh, let's bring out F-Dog. I had to completely replace my motherboard on my computer. It was just totally broken. So I replaced it. It took a long time to reinstall Windows and everything, but I'm back in the recording mode. Uh, and I'm not going to be distracted. I'm not going to read the comments anymore. I think things are good. All right. Let's go ahead and fight. Uh, what? Oh, this guy, what the heck? Let's do, okay, but you're gonna get an acid attack, just so you know. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. Who's here now? Okay, fine, hey, I'm back. Gosh dang, dude. They keep here, I'm just gonna do a headbutt. All right. Swoobat. Just keep the current Pokemon for now. Swoobat's coming out. Oh, it's a cutie. Uh, let's do a flame charge. That beer looks like it's flammable. Uh, not too bad, right? And my speed rose. And now he's gonna try to confuse me. Great. I don't think I am confused though. Let's do a headbutt. Maybe hopefully finish him off. There we go. Toxel and Dreadnought both leveled up. Madam Caroline. Oh, it seems you've already quite uh, you're already quite used to Pokemon battles. Yeah. <laughs> I've already been through two champions. Come on now. Don't 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 insult me. A bottle of pee pee. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We're we're still on our way. Oh, I missed a I missed a ball over there. Hold on, three of the, these owl things, man. What the heck? Amulet coin, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It doubles any prize money received. Not too bad. If I'm if I'm in it for the money, though, I'm not. I'm in it for the glory and the fame. <laughs> it's just all the owls. Oh, hello, officer. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper? <laughs> a copper. All right, police officer Raymond. Growlithe. Oh, pretty kitty. Is that fire type? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, he's using intimidate on me. Don't you dare. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fight. Double kick, let's see what that does. 
Oh, not very, not very good. But it was hit twice. Flame wheel, that shouldn't affect me too much. But that's a cool looking move. Let's try a headbutt. Here we go, just do a normal old headbutt. There you go. Leer, coming at me. All right. Headbutt, here we go. One more time. All right, that's exactly what I wanted to see. And so, uh, does he have any more? Was, it, was that the only one? All right, Raymond, gotcha, buddy. You've got some Pokemon with you there. Your battle technique is bang on, too. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know, man. Bang on. Uh, so next up, we got... Uh, what are we going to do? There's something on the road. Swift feather. I'm just going to go run across the road. I know I can bike across, but... Just in case, yeah, see? You see things like this. A pretty feather. <laughs> just a regular feather and has no effect. All right. A clever feather. An item to use on a Pokemon. It slightly increases the special defense. All right. A pretty feather again. No effect, I'm assuming. And then what's up with you? I'm in Moto Stoke. My Corviknight got all rested up, so it's already headed off for this next Poke job. All right, uh, Pokeballs, great balls. All right, so do I get anything for talking to the ball guy again? No, I don't, that's okay. Let's head back to the hotel. And uh, is this it, this hotel? I think so. Maybe, maybe not, is this the hotel? If this is, then that's good. Oh, her again, hello. My, hello, uh, Challenger Z-Dog, right? I'll give it it all, you're all, even this late, huh? It's Marnie. Hey, help me with something for a sec. I wanna see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. All right, let's see. Wicked, uh-oh, got some fight in you, huh? Oh, great, do I get to fight, face off against Team Yell too? You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Marnie. Here we go. Uh, Crow Gunk, is that a water type? I don't know, man. I always forget. It looks like a water type to me. So it's gonna be weak, um, or it might be a toxic, or I mean poison. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what Krogan is really quick before proceeding. It's a poison fighting. What am I even thinking? Poison fighting. So looking at the Pokemon type chart, fighting is weak against flying and psychic and fairy. Poison is weak against ground, psychic. I don't think I have any ground moves. Um, let me just take a look at the Pokemon really quick. I do have a psychic move, but that's not one that I can use. No, these both have rock moves. Um, I guess I'll just stick around and use uh, Flame Charge. I don't really have anything great against this. So here we go. The team yells in the background. Whoa, that was super powerful. What the heck? That w wow, that was really good. That was really good. All right, Marnie, how about that? Uh, so not Scraggy. So let's just keep uh, keep battling. No, keep keep the same Pokemon. I forget what type Scraggy is. I've caught one. Do I? That, does that mean I know about it? Double kick, super effective. Marnie, 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 I'm gonna upset Team Yell here if I just beat you like this. So might want to hold him back when I win. <laughs> headbutt. I have a headbutt myself. All right, all right. Fight one more time, double kick. Not one more time, but one more time against Scraggy. All right. All right, super effective. Who's next? We're not getting a ton of XP for this, but let's see. Um, more Pico. I don't even know what a more Pico is, so I'm gonna keep battling. It'd be no fun if things in it just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. More Pico's coming out. Get ready. Oh, that's her thing. Okay, well, what is a more Pico? Just out of curiosity, more Pico is a uh, electric dark type. 
Um, so let's see. Electric, dark type, gonna be weak against ground. Gonna be weak against fighting. Ooh, I knew a fighting move for you. Double kick. Here we go. One and two. Now I'm a little bit scared of it, but not really. Hmm, I think this move expresses my feelings. My feelings. <laughs> Here's a bite. Don't bite me. Oh, uh, well. Hold on, what's happening? What? 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 <laughs> what? Uh, what? Oh, quick attack, of course. I'm gonna get hit then. All right, well, I have another fighter on my team. And guess who it is? It's gonna be, what the heck was that? All right, uh, F-Dog's coming out. We're gonna do a move on you. Here we go. Now I do, actually a ground-based attack would be good, but let's just do this fighting rock smash, which kind of looks like a rock attack, but it's a fighting attack. Ow. Here comes a rock smash, buddy. Boom. Morpico is doomed. A critical hit. And Morpico fainted. I think that's how you say its name, right? Morpico? Morpico de Gallo. All right, got you. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? Don't be so sad. We got a lot of points, a lot of uh, monies. Guess I better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. <laughs> I don't even know, man. All right. The sleeping sound. Does that mean my Pokemon are healed? Because that would be ideal. Uh, I kind of want to go to the Pokemon Center. The next morning. What's up? Morning, Z Dog. Hello. That friend of yours already went off to the challenge the next gym. Kaboo's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies. So I'll give you one. So don't look so shuffed. It's no big deal. I'm not looking shuffed. You're looking shuffed. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Two burn heals. Yeah, you need the burn heals because I burned you. All right. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kaboo chap, right? <laughs> Why don't you get out over to Moto Stoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Okay, I will. I will. What I want to do... do wait, do I need to talk to this guy? Have I ever talked to him before? I quit my job so I could watch the gym challenge. Good, good, good going. <laughs> All right. I don't know if anyone... Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, here's me, the challenger that everyone's talking about. I need to... I want to go uh, to the place. How do I go to the place? Is there even a place to worry about right now? I just go down this. There you go. I'm gonna go down here. Whoa! Oh yeah, I love how fast it is. That would make anyone sick. But uh, I want to go to the Poke Center or whatever, and um, I want to do something special for Dreadnaw. And he's gonna have to go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I passed it. All right. Here we go. Now, are all my Pokemon rested too? When that happened. Okay, I know I can't ride my bicycle. Don't insult me. I wasn't trying to do that. Are they rested? Are, 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 yeah, they're all rested. I'm going to move Dreadnaw and put him here. And then maybe Shellos would be a nice backup. Even though Shellos is my weakest right now. Could be interesting to see what Shellos becomes. But Dreadnaw, buddy, pal, rate a nickname. Dreadnaw's nickname is not very good. Let's see. Oh, he says it's quite fine, but we can give it something better. I think so too. Dreadnaw is now gonna be on my team as D-Dog. D-Dog, baby. And then that way, uh, from now on this Pokemon shall be known as D-Dog. You're right, that does seem to fit it better. Nicely done. Shall I rate another Pokemon name? No. So there we go, we have him. We're in good spirits as we move on to this fire gym. I think it's not going to be so hard with, with D-Dog on our side. So let's find out for sure as we ride up. And uh, this is going to be so fast. Look at this. This is like... Vroom. You would get sick. Or you would be, it would feel fun. I don't know. Hey, Hop. What's up, Hop? All right. Slow moving, aren't you, Z-Dog? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire kaboo is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in the battle with him. Even my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. I don't believe him. 
that he even won that because I, I have a fire type and every time Hop goes against me, I destroy him. Get a shift on, Z-Dog. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire too. Okay, well. Fine. Fine. All right. So here we are. Let's just uh, sign in. I said, well, you're here too. What are you doing here too? I thought you were outside. Uh, well, since our leader Kaboo made his gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. All right. Yeah, uniform first. Fine. Let us see. Here we go. You may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than the others you face. And in you go. All right, in I go, indeed. Let's see how hard it is. You know, I would th hope, uh, well, Hop, why don't you give me any hints? You went through this, why can't you give me any hints? All right, what do I do? What do I do here? All right. Here we go. What's inside this fire gem for me? This guy with a weird mustache. The gym mission is for, is for the fire gym. Okay, the gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in, in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take up the best action to rack up points. I guess I'll just catch them all. Here we go. There's one. <laughs> There's one. All right, this little thing here. Is that a Vulpix? It is a Vulpix, a wild one. Oh, whoa. Whoa, we're bo okay, I get it. Good God. Uh, let's just fight with uh, a regular old bite against Vulpix. Oh, I see. I get what's going to happen. Oh, no. But if this thing attacks and, and faints Vulpix, then I'm done. Oh, but that's not what happened. All right, good. Uh, let me just try to catch it with the regular Pokeball. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know. We'll be lucky if it does happen, though. Come on now, lock it in. Yes, that's two points for me. Vulpix was caught. All right, awesome. Shellos leveled up to level 24. And we got Vulpix. While young, it has six gorgeous tails. When it grows, several new tails are sprouted. Okay. Uh, no nickname and you're going to the box. Send to the box. I don't need any fire type Pokemon for this fire gym. Challenger Z-Dog claimed two points. There's one. This is, oh wow, this is a Sizzlepeed. Uh, I wonder if I can make him faint instantly. What level is he? Uh, let's do, let's do an effective bite again and see what happens. Cause maybe I can capture it, I don't know. Ah, don't, don't fake me out. Oh, I can't move. Okay, bug bites coming, hit, hitting me too. Come on, don't leave D-Dog alone. What happened? Let's do the bite again. There we go. Not too shabby. Will-O-Wisp. Ow. Ugh. I'm on fire. How come this thing isn't doing anything? I'm gonna use Water Gun, see if that wipe. No, that's not gonna wipe it out. Ugh, what do I do? Bite. Let's just bite it again. I don't know. What do you want to do? I can try to catch it. Let's just bite it. Here we go. Here's another bite. That's fine. Sand attack. Are, are they attacking me? Alright, here's. I'm going to catch it with a... I'll try a Great Ball, I guess. Here we go. Let's see if I can get lucky and catch the sizzle pee. That'll be so cool if it locks in. Two points for me. Sizzle pee was caught. There we go. I now have four. Don't mess with me. F dog leveled up. That's great. All right. Sizzle pee's here. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. The yellow sections on its belly get particularly hot. Uh, no nickname, and send a box. All right. All right, four points, just one more to victory, so. Let's try this little cute little thing. 
Oh, it's like a candle. A wild lit wick. What the heck? All right, and they're using a sizzle peed. Interesting. Uh, can I attack? Here, let's just use a bite. Can I attack? <laughs> can I just get theirs? That'll be hilarious. Can I attack? Can I attack Sizzle P? That'll be hilarious, dude. Can I do that? The other one, I swear, was attacking me. There you go. Litwick, use hex. Don't hex me, dude. Whoa! Good God. D Dog is hurt really bad. Uh, I'm gonna again do the water gun on Sizzlepeed so that Litwick will be all mine. Deal with that. That's one Pokemon fainted. Does that count as a point? Nope. This hex is gonna kill D Dog. That's okay. We'll, sw we'll switch it out for someone else. Uh, who else? Let's do, uh, let's just bring out Shellos. We'll try the water move from Shellos. Oh, great, they're sitting on another one, son of a gun. Let's just see, let's just see it. Litwick, I don't even know, man. Ember's happening. All right, that wasn't too good. Water Pulse will either kill it or it'll be fine. Okay, I did it. I got the point. I need to somehow heal my Pokemon, though. Shellos got some XP. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Thank you. The Litwick, Litwick was pretty cool, though. Clearing leader Kabu Jim's mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. All right, great. So, uh, I, you, you can't ride your, I don't want to buy my bicycle, but I do want to revive <laughs> D-Talk. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, revive, use this on D-Dog, and then let's use a couple of potions on D-Dog as well. Good enough. 81 of 82. That's good to me. Let's head out. All right. This one looks interesting. Bricks all around. I'm going to be dropping bricks in my pants <laughs> if, if I lose. Oh, there he is. Next to me. Very focused. There we go. Every gym leader is different, different personality. I'm surprised he didn't enter from the opposite side. But here he is, and I'm uh, equally confident. All right. Well, here we go. Welcome, I am Kabu, the Fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Ness's Water-types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. All right, thank you for the life lesson. You ain't my coach. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine, I'll take it. Kabu, you're challenged by gym leader Kabu. Indeed I am. Nine tails coming out. Whoa, beautiful. That's a fire type, right? If so, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're linking up here. Uh, let me just fight and unleash my water gun, hopefully. Will-O-Wisp is going to happen to me, but guess what? I get to use my water gun. Yeah, okay, not terrible. Super effective, it says. I don't know, man. Water gun again. Let's try it. Here we go. Quick attack. Yeah, yeah, but I got a water gun. That's not very effective against me. Here comes a water gun. Again, I know. Again, we're just I'm just pecking away at you. I got to fight three Pokemon. How about Rock Tomb? How does that work? Quick attack again. Not good. Here is Rock Tomb. Oh, that was much better. That's what that's what was needed. Super effective nine tails fainted. All right, here we go. Oh, D Dog just leveled up. So did Toxel. Excellent. 
Arcanine. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. Keep keep the current Pokemon. Here comes Arcanine. Beautiful. What a beautiful beast. Uh, intimidate. Oh, jeez. What, what happens? My attack fell. I hate you. Rock Tomb. Here we go. Will-O-Wisp. Great. Ow. Burned. Oh, no. I'm burned. Oh, here comes Rock Tomb. Not great, dude. Super effective, but not good. Uh, but his speed fell, which is kind of cool. I'm burned a little sliver again. That that burn is is burning me. Let's try Water Gun. Here we go. Uh, okay. Agility. All right. That means his speed rises, right? Yep. Sharply, in fact. But, you know, I might go ahead and. Uh, no, let's just keep fighting. Let's do Rock Tomb again. What's happening? Arcanine gets to go first. All right. Here comes Rock Tomb. Super effective and uh, your speed fell, which, you know, we're trying to cancel out that speed boost you gave yourself. Here we go again. Oh, no, Bite still goes first. I need to heal myself, maybe even stop the burn. Okay, oh, good, 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 good. Super effective. A critical hit, specifically, and Arcanine fainted. Now, I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm gonna Dynamax this guy. P-Dog and S-Dog both leveled up. P-Dog wants to learn the move Slam. What is Slam? It's a normal move. Uh, I don't think I like Slam. You know what? I, you know, maybe, yeah. Let's get rid of, uh, what do you think? I don't know. This doesn't seem very cool. Accuracy of 75, but power of 80. I mean, that doesn't seem very, very good. I'm gonna forget it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Give up learning slam. But S-Dog is level 32. D-Dog's still on fire. I don't know about this. Uh, let's go ahead and give, uh, no, keep on, keep current Pokemon. Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kaboo. There still must be a path to victory. All right, Scorch is coming out. This is the last one. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's a really cool Pokemon. I'm gonna have to look into my bag though. I'm, I need to give myself a, uh, let's just give myself a super potion. Let's do a full heal. Let's just do the full heal on D-Dog here. I don't want to. Be, I don't want to burn anymore. Wait, did that also heal my my health? Let okay. Now hold on. He's gonna Gigantamax this, which is fine. But th did that also heal my health? If that did not heal my health, I'm gonna be upset. Oh my god, that's a huge, huge thing. I should have done that first. What was I thinking? Oh my god, Send a Scorch is gonna attack me right off the bat. Right? Is my health healed? Flames always burn upward, and so we'll always aim to go higher. You understand, don't you? It did not heal. It did not heal me. What am I thinking? It did not even heal. I, what? But that also didn't hurt me. Not very effective, so. Ow. Oh, wait, ow. That, that, that did hurt. I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Let's go back. I mean, I can't believe that didn't heal me. Super Potion, 60 HP. Use it on D-Dog. We're gonna, don't worry, we'll Dynamax D-Dog. I just thought that that would do way. I, I, for whatever reason, I thought the full heal would also restore my HP. I was wrong. Here comes a Max Flutterbee. Jesus. All right. Dang, dude. What? All right. Fine. I'll Dynamax him, and I'll do the Max Geyser, maybe. Or maybe the max rock fall. What do you think? Let's do the max geyser. I want to see the. I want to see the water. He might. He might still get fainted. Uh, I understand that, and that's fine. I'll be able to take out this thing, even if my Pokemon aren't Dynamaxed. But D Dog is getting big. There we go. Here we go. Let's do it. No, I do gain a little bit of HP, just like a tiny sliver. All right. Here. Well, I am way bigger than you. 
I think ne did Nessa use this? That is not good. That was not good enough. Super effective, but we'll look at this health. Oh my god, I'm scared. It started to rain. Here comes Max Flutterby again. That's gonna faint me, by the way. Oops. The dog fainted. <laughs> Oops. All right. All right. Dang. <laughs> All right, uh, Shallow, so you want to come out here and do a water pulse? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he, did, he doesn't Dynamax the whole time either. Oh, interesting. All right, yeah, water pulse. Here we go. Smoke screen. What does this do? I can't see. What happens? Is my, my accuracy fell. That's okay. Let's see if water pulse hits. Nice. See, I'm glad it doesn't say Dynamax the whole time. That was super effective. What about Ancient Power? What does that do? Smoke screen again to lower my accuracy again. Shellos might just take this home. You know, I might want to go ahead and uh, revive D-Dog just so he gets the experience. Uh, okay, well, yeah, hold on. Super effective. A critical hit. Lucky me. Let's look at my bag. Uh, max revive. I could. Let's just revive D-Dog. Yeah, I know it takes up a turn. That's okay. Here comes Bug Bite. God, those bug moves are really, really powerful. Um, fight. Let's do Water Pulse again. No, another Bug Bite. Son of a... Uh, all right, fine. Fine. The rain stopped. Good for it. I'm glad the rain stopped. Let's bring out, uh, let's just bring out S-Dog to finish this off. I don't know. Uh, let's bring out, um, who else could, let's bring out Toxel. Why not? Swap Pokemon. Your opponent's weak. I know, I know. I'm going to try to revive Shellos. Should I even bother reviving Shellos? Shellos was, was good. Let's look at my bag. Uh, revive uh, Shellos, too. Just so Shellos gets XP when we win this. It's hard to manage, but let's do it. Here we go. I just need to get like one hit on this guy. Flame Wheel's coming for Toxel. Toxel, tell me you can re resist that a little bit. Let's fight with uh, po a, a poison move. Here we go. Dang it, Flame Wheel hits me first. You know, I don't care about Toxel. God dang it. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Here's what I'm gonna do. S-Dog's gonna come out and do this. No, he doesn't have Quick Attack. Does he wanna have Quick Attack? Uh. All right, let's just uh, bring out Shellos again. I don't care about Toxel getting XP, I guess. Let's just finish this off. Here I am. Water Pulse. Dang it, the freaking Bug Bite's gonna kill me. Son of a... <laughs> this is so bad. Uh... P dog, get out here. Agility. That way, my speed is fast. That way, like, I can attack first, probably. Going forward. Here's smoke screen. That's going to just lower my accuracy. Don't worry about it. I guess I could do another revive on my, uh,. On it, who? Shellos. Yeah, because we want. I guess we want Shellos to to gain some XP. Coil. What's that gonna do? What does that do? Uh, it's attack rows and defense and accuracy. Basically everything. Uh, then let's. Uh, should I revive also Toxel? I mean, it, it could be a lot of XP. You know, might as well. And then when it's time for me to attack, I'll get to go first. Bug bite, please don't wipe out Pikachu. <laughs> Here comes Spark. Tell me I get to go first, thank you. All right, there we go, we finish it off. That was a lot of me. I was only reviving so they would get the XP. 
There we go. Look at that. Look at that. D Dog, Shellos, and Toxel all leveled up. All people I revived. Shellos is 25. Wants to learn the move Body Slam. Let's find out. Does Shellos deserve Body Slam? It's an 85 100. Uh, yeah, probably. Restoring its own cells. Uh, what do you think? Cover or... I, you know, I never think that... No, the recover, I can just use potions. Yeah, forget recover. Learn body slam. One, two, and ta-da. Shellos learn recover and we learn body slam. Toxel's 27. Kaboo has been defeated. There we go. No. Great Pokemon and great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. And I got some coinage. All right. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talents are past my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. All right. Handshakes only, please. I now know that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. All right. I don't need proof. But I'll take it. There we go. The fire badge. And where does it go? It goes right there in the center. Nicely done. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And every region has Pokemon battles with their culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, uh, you also help it become something better. I guess maybe it's more popular here in the Galar region because, look, we're packing stadiums. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. All right, here we go. Z-Dog. I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. All right. Challenger Z-Dog. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Will-O-Wisp. I got that, which was used against me several times. All right, the user shoots a sinister flame at the target to inflict a burn and take one of our uniforms in the same design as Kabu we himself wears. The fire uniform, nice. I think you've proven your, your skill well enough to try your hand against the gems that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city and make your way to Hammerlock. All right, sure enough, with all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be all right even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go out. Uh, let's find out for ourselves. Indeed, we will check out the fierce Pokemon down there. Next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting this series with every drop of the like button. Smash it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit Zach Scott dot shop.